Hi, I'm Tony Van Veen, CEO of Tastemakers. As we all know, we live in a streaming world, and yet revenues from physical media continue to grow every year. While at the time I'm recording this video, we don't have the full 2022 music industry report yet, physical sales for the first half of 2022 were $781 million, up more than 10% from the prior year and on track to be over $1.6 billion for the full year. That's a lot of revenue from physical media in 2022. And perhaps the most interesting thing is that after close to two decades of physical media declines, for the past two, three years, revenues from CDs and vinyl combined have been growing. Why is that, you might ask? Why is it that in 2022, after a long decline in sales, physical media are growing again? Clearly, it's because physical media has a number of benefits that streams just don't have. So, for the fun of it, Let's make a comparison and let's, let's have a little competition. Let's call it CDs versus streams, who wins? Now, you may think that as one of the foremost proponents of physical media for artists, and particularly of CDs, that I might be biased. But I'm gonna to try to be objective here. And to help me be as objective as possible, let's break this competition down into eight categories most important to artists and fans. Those categories are audience reach, promotion, sound quality, portability, fan engagement, music discovery, brand building, and monetization. So, you ready? Let's start with audience reach. This is an important factor for independent artists. How do you reach as many potential listeners as possible? And not surprisingly, there's a clear winner here. It's streaming which is an amazing way to reach potential listeners around the world. Once your digital distributor delivers your song to every streaming platform, it will be instantly searchable and findable to over a billion potential listeners. And if you include YouTube, we're talking about multiple billions. Prior to streaming, this was never possible, and this ability to reach a huge audience is certainly the greatest advantage of today's streaming economy. Next up, promotion. The picture's a bit more muddled here. Clearly, the ability to email or text a link to your song on Spotify to anyone whose contact info you have is very compelling. Copy and paste the link, and it's in their inbox instantly. But will they see it? And will they click it? There's never any certainty, of course. The CD actually also makes a very compelling promo vehicle. A CD is very affordable at under a dollar a piece, and you can easily mail one, or even better, hand one to a person you run into at a concert, at a bar, on the street. And even if they don't listen to your CD, they have the CD in their hand, their CD cover, their lyrics, the liner notes, to remind them of you. All that said, while both streams and CDs are a great promo tool, I'd still give the edge to streaming because of the ease and the reach. What about sound quality? Well, CD sound is full 44.1 kilohertz uncompressed digital audio, basically as good as it gets for any mainstream music format. And while some streaming services allow streaming of uncompressed digital audio, this requires pretty hefty bandwidth. Therefore, streaming platforms by default compress the digital audio to require less bandwidth, which subtly changes the sound of your recording. Advantage, CD. Next up, portability. Nothing to talk about here, right? Certainly CDs are lightweight and highly portable, but streaming beats the pants off any physical format. Even the most hardcore music fan can keep their entire song collection on their phone. In fact, you can search for and instantly listen to just about any song ever recorded, clear advantage streaming. One category extremely important to independent artists is fan engagement. What does that mean? Simply put, how impactful is your music on your fans and how do they interact with it? Here, the CD is the clear winner. Why? Well, I'm sure you've experienced it. Someone sends you a stream or it shows up in your release radar or another playlist, you click it, you don't like the first 20, 30 seconds and skip to the next stream. Before you know it, you've forgotten about the track and the artist. Fan engagement, just about zero. And even for fans who are into the music, there are limited opportunities to engage further. Yes, Spotify, for example, has a short artist bio, but then they add a 
fans also like section that will immediately try to take fans to other artists. And yes, there are now some features for some artists like lyrics and merch, but on the whole, the fan artist experience on the streaming sites is really lacking. A CD, on the other hand, with its graphics and packaging, immediately drives greater fan engagement. It's physical to start a fan, can hold it, admire it, turn it over, take out the disc. You may not think that that's worth much, but in my opinion, a big part of the vinyl boom this past decade is about exactly that, the ritual of playing music. Taking the inner sleeve out of the jacket, carefully taking the record out, making sure not to get your fingertips on the playing surface, placing the record on the turntable, then gently dropping the stylus on the lead-in groove. It's almost a meditation-like experience. Then of course, there's the cover, the photos, the graphics, the lyrics, the liner notes. But one of the greatest things about CDs and vinyl, the thing that drives the greatest fan engagement is how most fans get their vinyl and CDs. At a merch table at your concert. I mean, talk about fan engagement. There you are sitting at your merch table, an excited fan steps up, you chat with them, they buy the CD and you autograph it. On the engagement scale, this experience is a 10 out of 10. That fan will never forget about this interaction with an artist they love and they'll always cherish that autographed CD. And you just can't get that from Spotify or Amazon Music. The next category I want to discuss is music discovery. Here also, streaming is a clear winner. I discover new tracks by artists I know and by new artists just about every week thanks to tools built into the streaming services like Spotify's release radar. They've built tons of other playlists, both algorithmic and curated, to aid in further discovery and to keep me streaming. And regardless of how many new songs or artists I discover or stream, it costs me the same, right? All this discovery feels pretty much free to the music fan. It's not like that with a CD, where you need to pay for every disc you buy. For budgetary reasons alone, this will inhibit discovery. Yes, you could go to your local mom and pop record store and start browsing the bins and maybe discover something, but it's certainly not as simple as discovering new music on Spotify or Apple Music or Deezer. Next up, brand building. Not much to talk about here. Everyone is on streaming. For under 10 bucks, you can have your song or your album on over 100 platforms. It's no big deal at all getting your music onto the streaming sites. Digital music is completely commoditized and that risks devaluing your music. Having a CD, however, says in a way that you've arrived. You're a serious artist. It creates a whole different perception of your brand when a fan sees that you have a CD compared to when they hear that you're on Spotify. Plus, again, the graphics, the photos, the lyrics, the packaging of your collected works on disc help build your brand, who you are and how you want to be perceived, and you can control that much more effectively than a small thumbnail of an album cover on Tidal. And finally, monetization. Again, there is no comparison. One stream on Spotify pays about three-tenths of a penny. That means a thousand streams pay three dollars. Or, to put it a bit differently, you would need three thousand streams to make nine dollars, about the same profit you will make when you sell one CD at a concert for ten bucks. Which do you think is easier, generating three thousand streams or selling one CD at your concert? Physical media is the clear winner in the monetization game. I mean, literally just about every independent artist I speak to tells me they can't make money from streaming. There just aren't enough streams to generate any income. As an artist today, if you want to make some money from your music, you need physical items to sell at your concerts and online. CDs, vinyl, t-shirts. So let's look at which format has more advantages, CDs or streaming. Drum roll please. Turns out it's a 4-4 tie. Streaming is better for important categories like audience reach and portability, while CDs win on sound quality, brand building, and perhaps the most important of all, monetization. So what do you do with this? Do you choose CDs or streaming? Hmm, what a dilemma. Now, of course, I'm joking. There's no dilemma here at all. You see, any independent artist needs both. Digital distribution is close to free nowadays, so get your music on all the platforms to give potential fans the opportunities to discover your music. Use streaming as a promo platform. Then make a small run of CDs to sell at concerts and hand out to industry folks. 
You can get 100 CDs for under 200 bucks, so even there, budget should not be a major issue. And use physical to drive revenue and build your brand. So there you have it. CDs have benefits that streams don't have, and vice versa. As an artist, you need both in your musical tool belt. I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you next time.